Recent developments in the Fallout universe have helped shed some new light on everyone's favourite necrotic post-humans, the Ghouls. A new wonder drug has emerged onto the wasteland, designed to seemingly prevent the devolution of sentient normal ghouls into ravenous zombie-like feral ghouls. But what actually is this drug, and how does it prevent our ghoulish friends from getting all bitey? Well, it's probably best for us first to understand how a ghoul actually goes feral. You see, ghouls are created when high levels of radiation disrupt the normal process of decay in the neurotransmitters down a subject's spinal cord, allowing the body to continuously regenerate and function near indefinitely, unless destroyed by some outside force. But the brain of a ghoul is not affected by this regenerative process, meaning that over decades or even centuries of wandering the wasteland, a ghoul's brain will begin to degrade. It starts with the gradual loss of higher brain function, followed by increased appetite and aggression. The ghoul will finally be considered feral when it loses the last of its capacity for intelligent thought, and this is a fate that's likely to befall all ghouls as they continue to age indefinitely, all while their brain continues to deteriorate. So it should come as no surprise then, that this new wonder drug has made its way onto the wasteland. With each passing year, more and more ghouls continue to lurch slowly towards their potentially inevitable feral state, and some enterprising wasteland wizard has concocted a creation that can somehow slow down this process of feralization. But how? What is this miracle drug? Some speculate that it might be a microdose of Radaway, noting its slight resemblance to the radiation removal drug. However, it raises the question of how removing radiation could positively affect the deterioration of a ghoul's brain. Others theorise that the drug could be a synthetic or concentrated form of ghoul blood, especially since the organ harvesters at the Super Duper Mart have both a plentiful supply of this serum and numerous captured ghouls. Yet we here at Lawtors believe that the serum could be a modified version of that used in Stimpax. Utilising the healing agents and stimulants that enhance the body's natural healing processes to potentially stabilise or even repair the degradation of a ghoul's mind. But perhaps maybe this drug is just something new entirely, a drug unlike anything else we've seen in the Fallout universe before. What do you think it is? Let us know down in the comments and make sure to subscribe to join us again soon. Thanks for watching, catch you next time.